You only have a few more days to get your holiday shopping done. A lot of things claim to be healthy holiday gifts, but they have no known health benefits. Oh, this drives Dr. Stryker crazy when mm. she sees this stuff. I always <laughs> like to get her take on this. She's a professor at Northwestern University Medical School and our medical contributor. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You know, it was Larry that sent me down this rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. He started sending me gift ideas and saying, really? And then I, you know, went and there it, and it's just, it was very hard to narrow this to four items because there's about a million things that I could have included on this list. And spoiler alert, you know, Dr. Grinch here, um, none of these are actually, actually work. Right. Okay. Well, let's see the first one. A toothbrush case with a UV ster the UV sterilizer. UV sterilizer. This is very, very popular. Yes. The idea being that, well, your mouth is home to millions of bacteria, yeah. and all that bacteria is going to get on your toothbrush. So the idea of this is that it's going to sterilize your toothbrush, and according to their website, not only will you avoid bad breath, but you won't get heart disease, you won't get pneumonia. There's a long list of things that you are going to prevent by sterilizing your toothbrush. But... According to the CDC and the American Dental Association, this is craziness because this is your own bacteria, it's your own flora, and unless you are sharing your toothbrush with the whole family, you do not need to sterilize your toothbrush. And in fact, there is zero scientific evidence that sterilizing your toothbrush is going to prevent any medical illnesses at all. And the only thing that they encourage you to do is to switch out your toothbrush, get a new one every three or four months. Make sure you rinse it in water, you dry it, all of that. But you certainly do not need to sterilize Does your Does the UV toothbrush. sterilizer work, though? Does it actually get, yeah. yeah, it might okay. get rid of the bacteria. And my favorite part of this one is you go on the website and when they talk about all this stuff, and then they have people who are looking at their toothbrush like they're about to vomit. <laughs> because they're trying to like get across the idea that, oh my God, this is so disgusting. Right. You have to sterilize it. You do not. This right. is your own bacteria uh, on there. Okay. So Save your money on that one. Um, here's another one here, uh, popular for tweens, a silk pillowcase. Silk pillowcases. I mean, they feel nice. We'll all right. go with that. But what you can find out on their website is that it's going to make your skin healthier and your hair healthier. Specifically, they say that if you decrease friction by sleeping on a silk tooth pillowcase, that you are not going to get hair breakage and split ends. Hmm. That is so not true. The science behind hair breakage and split ends has to do with things like your diet and are you over drying your hair and do you have a tight hairstyle and other medical conditions. But there's no evidence that if you sleep on something silky that you're going to get less hair breakage. It also tells you, and this sounds really enticing, that you're not going to get wrinkles if you sleep on a silk pillowcase. And the science behind that is there is actually something called sleep wrinkles, that when you sleep on your face or on your side, there's going to be some traction on the skin, which in the long term is going to cause wrinkles. However, there is zero science that if the fabric that you're sleeping on is slippery versus just cotton, that it's going to make a difference. And the only thing that's going to make a difference is either if you hang your head off the bed while you're sleeping or sleep on your back. But Sleep on it if it feels nice. Got it. That's but it's about not all you help get. your hair, your skin. All right, a wine wand. Another very popular item. The premise behind the wine wand is that these are disposable wines. It's like, you know, $40, $50 for a box of these wands. And you stir your wine with it to get rid of the sulfites. Because the premise is, is that when you look at people that get post-red wine headache and hangover, it's because of the sulfites. And this wand is going to remove the sulfites. So. Even if the wand does remove sulfites, and that's debatable, very debatable, mm -hmm. the real issue is, is it the sulfites that's causing that headache? And a new study came out just last month showing that, no, it's actually not the sulfites. About 3% of the population has a sensitivity to sulfites. About 30% of the population gets a headache after red wine. And it turns out there's another substance in red wine called quercetin that some people don't deal with. So. Even if this wine wand works to remove the sulfites, and I don't know if it does, it's not right. going to prevent yeah, their headache. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one here, nerve oil. This is my favorite, the Vegas nerve oil. This is unbelievable. This is an oil that I think it runs for about $50, $60. And the idea is, is that you massage this on your neck because if you m massage your neck, then that is going to massage your vagus nerve. The vagus nerve runs down both sides of the neck. And then vagus nerve is known, part of the parasympathetic uh, system, that it's going to relax you. It's going to calm you. So the idea being that if you massage your neck with this oil, it's going to get rid of stress. It's going to get rid of anxiety. It's going to get rid of depression. It's going to help you get to sleep. Again, you know, a long yeah. list of claims. But here's the problem. We know that there is some science behind stimulating 
the vagus nerve, but it's not the same as massaging your neck. And it is certainly not the same as massaging your neck with their special oil for $50. I looked at the number one ingredient of this oil. Yeah. Oh dear. Olive oil. Olive so oil. I'm all for neck massages. <laughs> I mean, I love having my neck massaged, yeah. you know, go for the shoulders yeah, and the back yeah. while you're at it. But you do not need to spend $50 on their special oil, ah. which is going to help your vagus nerve relax. Well, it could double just, in the kitchen, too, right? It could help yeah. with cooking. Well, there's a few other things <laughs> in there you may not want to put in the kitchen. Well, yeah, it's happy holidays. Yeah. I mean, sorry to be the Grinch, but... No, no it's good to it's know. I will have to do this more often because yeah. I, I heard there's this whole website, Goop, that Larry likes to talk about that I'm sure you want to talk about. Oh, Plus, don't you, get you me started on Goop because we haven't even gone into the women's health products because oh. I know how you want to hear about those, Robin. Oh, it scares and me a little bit. Famous Let's have you for back and do more of this. Yeah, That's really interesting because I think a lot of people are falling for this Yeah, you don't know. You, you know, know. I thought about doing an episode of my podcast called Don't Be Duped, and I have a couple of things that, that look right. at this, you know, We'll have her stuff. back. She's but back. We need to do that. We have a nice holiday. Yeah. Uh, you can check out Dr. Stryker on social media. In the meantime, hey, Dan. Oh, you're right here. I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Anna. Hi. You just wanted to be friendly.